This divisional round odds and playoff best ball edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Draft now or play Underdogs. Pick them for a chance to win 100x. Promo code SGPN at underdogfantasy.com for 100% deposit match. We're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by Cut. Cut is a peer to peer social betting platform that US based and legal in 40 states. Head to cut.com. That's K U T T dot com and use promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. And we're brought to you by the SGPN merch store. 15% off everything when you use the promo code playoffs. Hey, it's Scooby right here, aka Shark Dog, listening to SGP and let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog got some oomph in your voice, Sean. Some oomph. Yeah. Yep. A- am I, I? Does the show sound weird or am I drunk? I can't tell. Uh, you you could be. You, you were you were louder than normal. Mm, okay. I, I'd say you're bringing a little bit more effort and energy than the Eagles did tonight. That's fair, Ryan. That's fair. You know, I obviously I was. Thought the Eagles would win. Was trying to did everything I could to help will the Eagles to win, and they they shit the bed. I mean, you know, I honestly I was way more upset last year, and I know what you say like, oh, you guys got to the Super Bowl, you should have been, you know, you you should be happier for that season. But I mean, this team was clearly never going to win the Super Bowl. Like, yeah, I, I was rooting for them and I wanted them to do everything they could to beat the bucks. But I mean, early on, it's just the defense cannot fucking tackle. It's just fundamentals. You know, I can talk about, you know, Sidney Brown blown as the ACL Reed Blankenship not being out there. Um, you know, Bradbury uh, clearly being cooked as a cornerback D line actually did show up to a degree and Devonta Smith did show up to a degree. Did Hertz play at a high level? No, but clearly this offense is completely out of sync. Hertz needs to play better. Um, he certainly get paid. He's getting paid to to play at a high level, and he didn't uh, for the end of the season. Was I high on them at ten to one? Yeah, and they were they were you know hanging on an edge there, and then all the regression came at once in these you know last six games and the season. They did somehow still beat the Giants uh, once, and then third string quarterback. Yeah, and then. The playoffs, so I, I think it's a coaching issue. I think it's a talent issue, but you know, you got you got Howie Roseman as your GM. I still think uh, I'm still optimistic about Jalen Hurts as a quarterback overall. I do not think they should fire Nick Sirianni. Uh, I do think they should bring in a new offensive coordinator. But yeah, I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at overall. I mean, this team was playing like dog shit. Like, yeah, I was thought they could maybe you know pull out a win against the Bucks, but like, I mean line of scrimmage pad level. Like they were just getting their fucking asses kicked. And to me, as much as the, you know, Hertz made some bad decisions, maybe miss a couple guys. He still hit, hit some deep shots at Devonta Smith. Like I still think he can play at a really high level. He needs to be coached up to, to hit that high level. They need to be schemed up to hit that high level. Everything was firing on all cylinders last year. And that's why that Super Bowl loss was so fucking heartbreaking. They they grabbed my heart and broke it in half like a two by four. At least this, you know, towards the end of the game, I was just like, great. I don't have to watch another Eagles loss. I don't have to take another wow. fucking three years off my life Ooh. because it was it was painful watching this Eagles team post that Bills game. And I don't know what happened. Um, you know, I, it's 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 easy to say, hey, it's just one thing. Just run the ball. Just do this. Just do that. But it's it was clearly a multitude of things and it shows how hard it is. If you lose the super bowl to get back up for that uh, following year, it's not an excuse. It's just the reality. Like you, you do so much to get to that super bowl. When you don't win the super bowl, it's kind of a letdown and it's hard to get that energy, that momentum, that mojo. And this team clearly never found that. 
So yes, I'm just dis- disappointing end of the season. Not only those last six games, but this playoff game getting embarrassed in the playoffs is not what Philadelphia football is all about. That being said, you know, go birds. I'm an Eagles fan till I die. I'm excited to, for them to report to training camp and I'll be rooting them on. Um, you know, let's, let's get some guys in the draft. Howie pull some bullshit in free agency. It, it kind of is what it is. <clears throat> yeah. Not much to add. Devonta Smith, dog. No, that, I that's mean, my, my big takeaway yeah. is uh, there <laughs> they, not a lot of effort on defense. Devonta Smith, dog. Uh, Dallas Goddard. I don't. I don't even know if you saw this play, but something may have happened to his knee in the yeah. waning uh, plays. Uh, he did r- jog off the field. Unclear. It didn't look good though on the replay. No, not. Uh, not and and uh, Jalen Hurts' body language sucked. So I, I think you can say it wasn't his fault, but he also had shit body language. When when things were not going well, no, I didn't. Well, I didn't say it wasn't his fault. He he deserves. Oh, no, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm okay. saying it's not his. I, I'm saying it's not. This is not on Jalen Hurts, but Jalen Hurts had shitty body language. No, Jalen Hurts is a relatively young quarterback who needs to um, take some steps as far as leadership. Like, dude, you're the franchise quarterback. You need to lead. You need to have that positive body language. You need to be able to rally the troops. You need to be able to motivate guys around you and get the best out of them, you know? And it, it's, it's a multi, when shit goes wrong like this, it's a multi pronged thing. Like it's, it, you know, you can make the scapegoat and I do think firing the defensive coordinator. I, I thought at the time I was like, ah, that feels a little hasty. If you listen to the Dire Eagles podcast, I even said, I'm like, ah, it feels a little early to be cut into sigh. And then that weird dynamic, I think um, just help perpetuate the well, shitty mojo that went through the team and to do it for Patricia. I mean, Sirianni, if nothing else appears to be in touch with his players. So to jam in someone who is so not in touch with players like Matt, Patricia, odd move in retrospect, I- I'll be curious to find out more uh, after the season, but I would imagine no one's going to be back. None of those guys will be back with the team. Who? Desai Patricia? or Patricia? No. Well, that's what I mean. No, like, I, I, I don't of, know why they didn't fire Desai. Like will the, any coordinators be back? I don't know. Maybe Ben Johnson, but I don't even think him. Besides uh, sideline security officer, yeah, slash coordinator. Dom deserves some of this blame is on Dom. It's a team game. Bad look for didn't Italian show Americans. Up, didn't show up, Dom, in the <laughs> biggest spot. Uh, yeah, I mean, my voice is kind of hoarse. I was yelling at the screen. I was, uh, you know, there were a couple of big no. plays there. You kept waiting for. For them to kind of um, pull the tide, it, it, this Bucks team is super interesting because, you know, I was on the Bucks early. I had them to win the NFC South at nine to one. You're welcome, America. Mm. And I, I don't know. Touting I, through grief. <laughs> I don't brave. know. I don't know. Uh, honestly, because I'm too close to the situation, <laughs> I don't know what was the Bucks playing well and what was like the Bucks because they, they, dude, the drops were crazy. I mean, honestly, that uh, was the only yeah. thing that was working on our defense was. Th- them dropping wide open balls. And I don't know if that's going to carry over to the Detroit game or not, because I think in some ways you want to fade both the lions and the bucks going into next week, because the lions, my God, there were grown men crying in the stands yeah. and the bucks. It's like Baker's back. This is it. But meanwhile, they left so many points on the table. I Rick mean, flares out there yeah, hyping like, them up. Uh, <laughs> and their defense has some moments. Their defense defensive line did a good job against the Eagles offensive line. So uh, my take, my answer to that question for you would be, I thought Baker looked healthier than I thought he was going to look. And the Eagles, the Eagles defense looked like it has the past six, seven. Get yeah, I mean, uh, you know, there's honestly, just like, times where it's like, uh, is it, si- who's the guy with the, like the blonde dreads? Is it Sidney Jones? No, no, si- no, no. It, who, who is the safety or someone that has like s- some sort of lighter hair? Okay. It just, just. Horrible effort, like one out of two. I mean, plays. you're talking about like there. I mean, again, I don't want to seem this like I'm making excuses, but there were a number of guys in that secondary and at the linebacker position that are just not starting caliber players. What does that mean, though? What does that no, mean? No, that you can't coach them up to play. Like, they, but this was effort. My my opinion is this was no, a, no. This was effort related more no, than it and, was. And they were, based. and a lot of times they were in the right spot. They just weren't tackling. So that goes back to the mojo. That goes back to Nick Sirianni, who did a horrible job coaching the team as a whole. Now you can blame it on Patricia, you can blame it on Desai, but ultimately, you know, this is your it's your team you're coaching up. 
there was a lack of effort on the defensive side with what? the tackling. When's and now the, the last... defensive line did show up. Sean, when's the last this. time a, an Eagles team had multiple f- parts of the team show dog shit effort like this? Yeah, I mean, you would have to go back to the last year of Doug Peterson. Um, there was a lot of quit on some some yeah. aspects of the team, and you know, even in that first year of Sir, Sirianni, they were clearly buying in. Now they now the offensive line like just played like like that was the biggest to me. The offensive line playing like shit was the biggest problem in this game. M- it, massive amount of penalties, yeah, mistakes. No, and it, it it's it's I mean, you Shows know, you it's shit important. that we were complaining about. As Eagles fans, even when they were winning, it's like, damn, they got the win. I'm optimistic, but shit, that was some sloppy football. And you know, these last six, seven weeks, it was sloppy football without the wins. I, I mean, it, yeah. that's kind of how it went. And I, the haters will start to say that without the best offensive line in the league, Jalen Hurts might not be a great quarterback. And without an elite play caller, an elite run game schemer, and Shane Steichen, Jalen Hurts can't be that elite quarterback. So a lot of a lot of questions coming into next season. Now yeah, I mean, I, I would say he still made, even though they were struggling at the times, he still made some high level throws. He certainly needs, um, you know, better play calling. He needs, to, but really, yeah, he needs to play better. I think he has that in him. Um, and he was hurt. We're gonna, he's going to get some surgery in a couple of days. Yeah, I, and we're going to find out. He was. I'm had, not going to break any news, but I would. I am predicting knee surgery. Yeah, he's going to get. I I would be. I'm not going to be shocked if they announce he's going to get knee surgery. He clearly, or maybe, or maybe just the fourth year in the league, you lose all your explosiveness in your legs. Maybe that's what happened. Well, that, I, I don't know. That, I, I you know. That's what we've learned with through running backs, right? So one contract, and then they're done. Jalen Hurts, maybe a running back. No, too soon. No, I okay. I still think he's I I still think he's now again he finished really poorly, so it's hard to be optimistic. But I'm optimistic that Jalen Hurts is our starting quarterback, week one, 2024 NFL season. AJ now, Brown back. Yeah, why? Where? I mean, I, I know it's just a I know you're trying to it's just to a rub question. salt in the wounds, right? Just a question. <laughs> yeah, no, we're we're debriefing. You. We're getting all the emotions. This is out. the exit interview. I get it. I, I get you're trying to get me fired up, but AJ Brown, he has no leverage and, and he has no, they're not going to trade him. He's in like the second year of a massive contract. How he will not trade him. He is friends with Hertz. There's no, he has no moves. So even if he doesn't want him to play for the Eagles, he's playing for the Eagles next year. Kelsey and Fletcher Cox, either guy Fletcher back. Cox, not back Kelsey. I would say 50, 50, really anyone else you're worried about? That matters. Um, Slay gone, Bradbury gone. Slay, no, Bradbury one hundred percent gone, and mm-hmm. Slay probably. I mean, that was the you know that was the criticism coming into this season was like, hey, we should have done more, and you know they drafted a uh, Job who looked good at times, and then he got hurt. Like they had a they had a. I mean, again, part of the reason why they went on that Super Bowl run was. They were really healthy, and uh, I mean, they had a shit ton of injuries in the secondary and at the linebacker position, and eventually, it kind of just the dam broke. It, you know, you tie that to losing, you know, switching defensive coordinators middle of the season, and this is what you get. Kelsey apparently was say uh, said he's retiring, so so yeah, I would move that to ninety ten. <laughs> Uh, nothing official until he records his next uh, New Heights podcast. I'm sure yeah, if we need a center who doesn't. Yeah, yeah. I'm not you're gonna, gonna break it on your own podcast. <laughs> we're, not gonna, we're not gonna waste Get a that couple in. downloads. Yeah. I mean, sh- if that was Jason Kelsey's last game, shout out to Jason Kelsey, all time Eagle, first ballot Hall of Famer. I'll put legend. him on the list the the short list of uh, Brian Dawkins and Brian Westbrook of Eagles that uh, glad they're no longer playing for the Eagles. All time Philadelphia Eagle. One hundred percent. All right. So, so hopefully he's back. But if he's not, you know, it's a you got you got to play the guys that are out there. Ah, Sean, Sean, doing a great job of putting the blinders on, looking forward, taking well, the emotion what, what out of I, the situation. What, I mean, well, I, nothing. I'm I, complimenting you. I would be honestly, <laughs> I would be more pissed if it was like a really good team that just lost on some fluke plays or some crazy field goals or a ba- bad bounce of the ball. But like. I mean, this was the same team we saw these last six yeah. games that just could not get a stop to save their fucking life. <laughs> could not get a fucking turnover. 
I mean, Hertz didn't turn it over. Like you, I mean, as much as I, I want, would want to kill Hertz for fumbling or interceptions, defense you just have to create turnovers. I, I know it's kind of like a weird thing to coach up, and I don't know how you actually get there. I, I mean, they went from like top in the league to sacks to bottom in the league. Like it's just you know, it's losing football. You know, it's not losing Ryan heading up. Heading over to DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner in the NFL playoffs, bringing you an offer that help make the playoffs electrify. New customers can bet five bucks on any game and get two hundred dollars instantly in bonus bets. Uh, gave out the uh, Julio Jones ladder, which was off to a great start until he got knocked out <laughs> or a concussion, kind of the year in a nutshell. Uh, but it, you know, stuff like that, the ladders, so fun to use those bonus bets on. Maybe you want to get down on a crazy parlay. That's the only uh, positive. A lot of NFL football left in the season. You can download the DraftKings Sportsbook app it now and use code SGP. New customers can bet five bucks. Get two hundred dollars instantly in bonus bets. Just use that promo code SGP. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SGP. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call one eight hundred Gambler or visit www.1800 Gambler.net. And your call eight seven seven Hope N Y in Connecticut. Help is available. Problem gambling? Or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino. Uh, 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in Ontario. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. slash football for eligibility and deposit and gaming resources. Hey, little C's. Love me some little C's. You know what soaks up a tough playoff loss? Little Caesars. The only joy that was brought to my life today was courtesy of Little Caesars and their piles uh, high of pepperoni. I mean, this is the only this is the only highlight I want to watch of uh, the Little Caesars flyover, the pepperoni, the butter brush, brushing the crust with the salty sprinkles. Love pretzel crust. Love Little Caesars. Love pepperoni. Get yourself a pepperoni pretzel crust pizza. It'll save your Sunday, Monday, or Saturday, depending on when your team plays. Delivery or our in-store pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends, enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars, pizza, pizza. All right, so we could talk about the 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 odds for next week. Sure. We, have, we have a ton of callers. If you want to take a caller? Or sure, I'm not a pussy. Bring them on. Well, I figured we I'd cheer you up. The first person uh, here is here to celebrate a victory, mm. a win. Not over your Eagles directly, but uh, when we last spoke with Tyler, he had a money line parlay oh. leaking into Monday that had uh, Buffalo and Tampa Bay, I believe. So, uh, Tyler, how are we feeling? I'm feeling great. I did not cash that thing out. That was a $25,000 win. Whoa! <laughs> and of course, you use DraftKings promo code SGP. <laughs> So uh, all right, so uh, what what are we what are we doing with the money? Yeah, Obvi- come on. Obviously, we're going to reinvest some in next weekend. So what are you looking oh, at? Oh yeah, early? I've already <laughs> bet Packers plus ten, nice. uh, at minus one ten. I've already seen it move into minus one twelve on DraftKings. So little value there, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably make another parlay for next week. I was looking at parlaying all the dogs again because it's a hundred forty seven to one. So <laughs> there's there's value there. I don't know. Uh, it's it's so crazy. Have, having the Packers in the middle of that parlay at plus two seventy was just the value. Oh, Sean, did you great. hear that? One hundred forty seven to one. If you take the four dogs next weekend and parlay them, that's four oh football God. games in the National Football League. Yeah, that's easier than the six I just went through. I mean, I would, I would maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I can't can, wrap I, my head around I, the right now. I'm, yet. I'm looking at, I, I'm looking at the games like, well, you know what? This isn't crazy. I might have to get a piece of that. Well, uh, it, it, shit, do, it does feel like a wide open year in the NFL playoffs. We'll, di- we'll dig in, but oh. yeah, congrats, man. Hell yeah. Right. So I did at the beginning of the fourth quarter when uh, the Bucks were up twenty five to nine. I, I put three thousand dollars on the Eagles money line. Just to lock in twenty thousand dollars, I had PTSD from the <laughs> Dolphins at fourteen. Pussy. With three minutes. <laughs> hedging. Ah oh, man, oh, that's you want a- some garden shears for your hedging, Tyler? <laughs> yeah, <I> mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Twenty k is twenty k. I I, yeah. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't suffer another fourth quarter loss like that. Like the Dolphins. You did Dolphins suffer did a me. tough loss. That that was. Uh... That was it was worse than my Jordan Love experience. Oh. Well, I mean, nice work, man. Twenty five grand. 
Carry it forward. Thank you. Congrats. Let it ride, Tyler. Appreciate you calling in. And uh yeah, I mean, I'm happy you won. That's awesome. Thank you. I mean, uh, I like the immediate snap reinvestment in the Packers. Oh Preston. yeah, come on. This, you think the you think that guy's gonna cash out? All right, ne- uh, what happened here? What, did we lose? Uh, I don't know what's going. On. All right, let's uh, let's keep it rolling. We got a uh, we got your buddy uh, Nick Fortune here. Oh, 49ers fan. I'm sure he's here to to pay his condolences. Nick, how you feeling? You got uh, Jordan Love coming to the town. <laughs> My gosh, you know, you know what? I'm smelling something. I'm smelling the cheese, mm. the shredded cheese. When we <laughs> shred the backers into this game at all, my gosh, the Packer fans here think they're so great. <laughs> oh, Jordan Love, he's he's the savior. He's gonna be so well. You're gonna get your you're gonna get your ass kicked by the 49ers and our fucking defense coming back to reality because we have <laughs> Brock fucking Purdy, Mister Unrelevant to Mister Relevant now. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh man. Jeez the ways. Brock Purdy shirts, uh, Brock Hard Purdy shirts, fifteen oh, yeah. percent off when you use the promo code playoffs. Nice in the SGPN merch store. Look at you, true <laughs> pro, just officially passed rallying. it. Officially passed it. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, yeah, I don't. So, know. You're, so yeah, minus ten, fifties the total. So you're feeling good about laying the points against the Packers next week. I will do. A, I, I feel good about laying the points. I feel laying good about laying the points for the Buffalo Bills. All right. I feel about taking points for the Texans against the Ravens. I'm the worried. Lions Bucks game. I'm going with the Lions. I'm right, just gonna so bite some kneecaps. Ryan, so Bills Ryan, min- early- right now, Bills minus two and a half. Lions minus six, uh, six. at home against the Bucks. And wow. it's uh, t- Ravens minus nine and a half uh against the Texans. So I do I do I am concerned already that the Texans are gonna be like the public dog. Uh, do you think? I, yeah. I, Nick, yeah. how's how say you? I'm 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 still going with the Texans. This team is just it's coached so well and everything else. And you know, I I, I think maybe Lamar is kind of smelling himself. Maybe that Ravens team is kind of smelling himself. But um, I think the Texans are still going to you know cover that line with ease. I've seen a lot of divisional rounds with teams that uh, had exciting uh, uh-huh. seasons, uh, runs into the playoff, and even a victory, all of a sudden come crashing down in embarrassing fashion. Uh, I I I think you ha- when you look at the bigger spread games, I think you do have to like to me. I have to look favorite before I look dog both ways. So you're right, I, and I think you're right. I think you're right. I think both teams. I think the dog will be popular. Yeah, which is which is scary to be on a popular dog. I don't know. I I gotta I gotta gotta break down some film. Look at some pad level, Ryan. But <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not I'm not ready to sign off on anything. Right. I like the, the idea of using pad level just as like a rating system for everything. Look at the <laughs> Eagles pad level. It was fucking horrific. Look at how high, high they were trying to tackle high, these guys. medium and low. Like, no, you, <laughs> you get, it, it's the same thing as in hot yoga. You bend down <laughs> when you got some fucking effort, you finish. I dominated the 10 30 AM sculpt class today. Micaiah <laughs> even said to me after the class, great work, Sean, you think you get that when you're half ass in it? My pad level was amazing. If I had pads on, I'd be dominating high yoga. <sighs> Sorry, Nick. I know you wanted to call in and hear about uh, that. No, high no. Yoga. Hey, you know, Sean, it might, you know, you got every right, you know, to bitch and whine. You know, I was in that same boat, you know, last year when you guys basically beat us and injured Brock Purdy, you know, after the first yep. drive, you know, basically, that was, yep. uh, you know, I was on that same boat as well. 24 hours, bitch and whine as much as you want to. Then after that, go back to work, start making us some money because that's what we're here to do. See, he's. He, the the troops are motivating you, Sean. They're saying uh, they need their fearless leader. <laughs> they they need. Which, by the way, we're we're 24 minutes into the show, and we didn't even mention the fact that I hit Dawson Knox first first touchdown oh. earlier. And by the way, my Congrats, second Ryan. first touchdown was Dalton Kincaid. He scored the second touchdown. <laughs> so uh, yeah, on I, fire. I'm feeling feeling great. All right, well, well, Nick. Um, I, yeah, I think I'm going to be saying best of luck to your Niners mm. next weekend. I, Dick I, Bunchers I, firing away in the chat. I know Packer Nation. I mean, how could you not be excited? Oh, I'd be so fired up. I mean, if if you're so if you're a Packers up. fan right now, you're living on cloud nine. You have nothing to lose. I mean, even if you do lose, you're talking yourself into the fact, hey, we're the youngest team. Ryan, we'll really save the weekend. I mean, I, 
it was a disaster. Eagles losing, but if the Cowboys would have won, the fact that the Cowboys lost, I, it, it makes this easier to swallow. I'm my guard, yeah, yeah, yeah. My gardener is a Cowboys fan, and he's been I, chirping. He's been chirping for the past couple of weeks, and boy. It's funny. He, uh, he, he made a point to come when I wasn't around this week. <laughs> Wonder what that was about. Scared running scared. All right. Nick. Uh, I, I, I was going to go say last thing. If the four hours do lose to the Packers, I will come in. I will say, wow. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I would too. That'd be, that would really, if uh, yeah, the, you can't lose to this Jordan love Packers team. No, no. And <laughs> and the Packers are smelling themselves too much they right are. now. They're getting their egos way out of check. I mean, no, <laughs> no. All right. Well, uh, we'll, we'll have to talk to you on the pregame show. Best of luck. Right. I think best of luck. Let it ride guys. All right. Let it ride. Let it ride. Uh, geez. Got more calls Ryan. We do have uh oh boy. We have uh yep. Let's just keep it going. Uh, what's up. We got uh Detroit. Lion super fan who now knows that the Lions will be facing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And like I said, Lions minus six, mm. 48 and a half is the total. Sean, if you were wondering, the Bucks money line is plus 220. Mm. Got to imagine that that uh, gets smaller before it gets bigger. Easy. How are we feeling? Six point home favorites in the playoffs. We're, we're, we're in new territory right now. Yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good about it. Uh, a little bit nervous at the same time too, as a typical Lions fan. But I don't know. I mean, I really thought we'd be playing y'all, so it's kind of uncharted territory right now. Yeah, he sounds disappointed. Yeah, unfortunately, we suck. I know how uh, you know how exciting it would have been to play a team that sucked, but you got to play the Bucks, who also may suck. We'll see. Um, six points. I I thought this would be closer, like four, four and a half. The fact that it's at six. Interesting. I mean, I think a lot of it depends in how much are you weighing into the Lions dumping the Gatorade. They didn't actually de- dump the Gatorade, Ryan, but how much are you weighing into the fact that like their season is already a success? Yeah, I mean, you always have to worry about that with t- these types of situations, and in, in especially going into the divisional round is always a filter. Um, so yeah, I, I, there's always a game that's competitive and two or three that end up being kind of not competitive. And so I guess, I don't know. I don't know if I had to circle one, obviously the Kansas city Buffalo game is the obvious choice to, for the competitive game. Um, but I'm, I'm not so th- this Tampa team feels the most high, like Tampa and Detroit feel the most high variance to me. So you well, can, yeah, you I mean, can look, end up look with at, a weird look at all the Tampa missed opportunities in that Eagles game. Was that an outlier? Like, could they, should they have won by like a lot 40 more. points? A lot more. Or, yeah. or are they just a bad team who, you know, can't connect on these plays and, you know, got fortunate they played the Eagles or clearly cratering? I, but I think you can probably look at the, the, this, the game, like the, the Lions in the, the opposite way in that, like, they, they didn't exactly look great. Uh, against the Rams, they started fast, but after that, I I, I believe. Uh, shout out to our buddy uh, Adam Chernoff, Sean. Uh, Lions did not. Uh, sorry, yeah, Lions did not cross the Rams' thirty-five yard line after the seven-minute mark in the second quarter. And so, yeah, I, now now I've kind of talked myself into thinking this is a big number for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm right there with you. Uh, easy. Uh, you know, you're a fan, but always scary to lay a bigger number. So not just talking about the win. How are you feeling about this number? Does it get bigger or smaller? I'm not sure. Just because I think the Lions are gonna be the public bet this week. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Bucks, even even though the end of the game was, you know, that score, the Bucks did not play well. The no. Eagles just really sucked. Thank you. And I, but yes, and I, it's true. Well, sorry, Sean. But no, I mean, no, yeah. I, I don't disagree. <laughs> oh, he's a wee guy, so he's taking these personally. Well, I mean, it's just the truth, though. You know, if if the Bucks had played even decently, that that could have been a forty point game. You no, know, and I, I think that factors into the spread a lot too, as well as Ford Field being as loud and and everything as it was, because Baker Mayfield is not good in you know opposing fields that are going to be that loud. It does suck that it's not a total night game like it was the first time. 
in Detroit, it won't matter. The stadium's going to be exactly the same. No, I, I I tend to agree that like this is this fan base is locked in, and Tampa's not traveling. No, not at all. And and to the point earlier of of us pouring the Gatorade, we didn't pour the Gatorade physically, mentally, <laughs> psychologically, nothing. Yeah, fans were crying, but fans were crying because they saw something they hadn't seen in thirty years. You know, it was like seeing a, a comet crash into the ground. But every single player after that game, all they talked about was, we're not done yet. We have more to prove. There's more road to go. Every single player is locked in to next week and, and so on. So the, the Gatorade aspect is, I, I would say, what? if anything, the Bucks are kind of at the same spot of pouring the Gatorade. As yeah, the Bucks Lions were are. celebrating pretty big, what? too. It what? didn't feel like, hey, business as usual, wild card win. It felt like, oh my God, can you believe we won a playoff game? It felt like Michigan winning the semifinal. When, when but then they went on and when I handicapped the Jared Goff to throw for the most yards in the postseason, part of that was this is one of the, the second round matchups that could exist. And and boy, you gotta love you if you you gotta love it. I mean if if Jared Goff's ever gonna have a moment to show it. It's gonna be at home against this Buck secondary. Yeah. Well, and the, and the and the Lions do have a really good offensive line, and as you saw with Devonta Smith, like there are some shots downfield uh, if you can handle the blitz, if you can adjust to the blitz, if you can, if the O line can play good enough um, to to give you those opportunities. There certainly are those opportunities. I think it's gonna come down to can they convert on these. I don't know. It does feel like a bit of a game. We'll see. A lot, a lot of uh, thinking before we get to our pick show, Ryan. Early betting splits uh, for the Detroit Lions: sixty-two percent of the bet, sixty-three percent of the handle. Uh, it's actually the most evenly uh, split game so far. The Bills, Packers, and Texans all getting seventy-five percent of the bets. So there, that actually surprises me a little bit. I thought, I thought more people would be on us. Yeah, it's early. We'll see. It, it is early. Yeah. Uh, it does seem like this number could start to we could end up getting like going towards seven. That would be interesting. I uh, yeah. There are some six and a halfs out there, hmm. um, and it does seem like the Texans is going to probably come in uh, as as you predicted, Sean. It does very much look like the Texans are going to be a public side, as are the Packers. So yeah, if you like the dog, probably want to grab it now. Ryan, perf- uh, easy. Appreciate you calling in. Let it ride. A uh, perfect transition uh, to cut. Of course, uh, everyone remembers me putting up some money uh, on the Eagles. That is now courtesy of one of our listeners, Olan. <laughs> Shout out to you, Olan. Enjoy He's the got money. Your money. Yeah, I mean, hey, I gotta track this guy down. Find out where my money is. That is what the the fun of the peer to peer betting. It gets a little personal. Uh, I would like to see, you know, Nick Fortune, 49ers fan, Dick Puncher. Packers fan, you guys are playing each other. You should sign up over at Cut right now. You're gonna get a very good price uh, because you're betting head to head, and you get the 10% deposit bonus when you use promo code SGPN. And signing up, you help out the Sports Gambling Podcast Network, and you get access to a really sweet peer to peer betting operation over at KUTT.com. Uh, the social group. You can find some of the some of the other guys that are getting down. You can see. All the bets being offered. You can even do stuff non related to sports, politics, pop culture, whatever it is. If it's a verifiable income, uh, you can talk to Cut and get that listed. So, uh, you know, we got some rivalries could, going on here. Right? Could we get uh, the tail of the tape, our segment on VSIN listed? Oh, so who's, who's uh, <laughs> oh, over, over, over under measurements? <laughs> yeah, I don't know because, because we actually determine uh, which one's longer. Uh, we'll see if uh, we'll see if they allow. It. But again, cut.com promo code SGPN, and we're also brought to you by Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. Uh, if you're like me, you're dealing with a tough playoff loss. The last thing I want to do is go home and cook up uh, a meal from start to finish. I want nothing to do with that. I want something that's easy, quick, 15 minute meals. Give me that Hello Fresh. Uh, again, and it's a, it's a new year. You want some you want some healthier eating habits. Look to HelloFresh wholesome health forward options like uh, over thirty calorie smart and protein smart recipes each week, and of course uh, breakfast. Love me some breakfast. Breakfast is how 
I feel like all the bad eating decisions I make is because I don't have a good breakfast. And of course, if you go to hellofresh.com slash SGP and free and use code SGP and free for the free breakfast for life, one breakfast item per box while subscription is active. So easy. Uh, that's free breakfast for life at hellofresh.com slash SGP and free with code SGP and free. Uh, HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. All right, we got one more caller, and then maybe we uh, we do a little uh, best ball draft. Sounds good. Joe in the chat saying Sean is hurting. Yeah, my team lost in the playoffs. I should. I, I'm bummed out. You're right. Would it be Would it be more yeah. weird if you weren't hurting? Um, it, I, mean, I don't know. What, I'm, what do you, I've what do never, they want? What, have I ever presented myself as not a diehard Eagles fan? And when you're a diehard fan and your team sucks, you die hard. Yeah. Yep, you switch seats on the couch, you change jerseys. You do what you got to do. I did everything I could for this fucking team. I left it all on the table. We got Dick Puncher here. Maybe he, maybe he'll say something nice to you. I'm happy for the Packers. Yeah. Are you which team? That's a great question. Which team are you going to pull for now? It's a good question. I You don't, don't have know. to answer. It's it's very it's very early. <laughs> Maybe maybe reveal on the NFL pick show this week. Definitely the dogs because I think there's a f- a bunch of fun. 147 uh, to one if you parlay them all. I mean the Lions getting to the Super Bowl would be an awesome story. The Packers getting to the Super Bowl would be an awesome story. I think just anyone but the favorites right now as far as who I'm rooting for. Now, you know, look at the pad level, look at my numbers. We'll see. Maybe I'm going to be getting down on one or two favorites. I you know all four underdogs winning outright on the money line. Maybe I'll have a small sprinkle on that, Ryan. But uh, it, it a, a couple chalkier plays. But you you can build a decent narrative for each one of these dogs upsetting. That's why the NFL is the uh, greatest league of all time. How you doing, Dick Puncher? I'm good, Sean. I'm good. I you know condolences to you guys. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> felt bad. Um, you know, I, I, I was very happy. I know we, uh, the whole discord was happy for T lens, like, it, you know, in the discord, oh, yeah. we we're all like stoked for him and like debating the whole time. Like, Oh, you know, are you going to hedge now? You're not going <laughs> to hedge. You know? Um, yeah. But, uh, it's a shame that his, uh, awesome win had to come at your expense. I feel, well, feel bad about it. We don't, well, they're Eagles fans. What are you, what's everyone doing? <laughs> well, let, let me say. Yeah, Kramer, let me just say yes. that today, at least at at the gym, right? The Eagles fans and the Giants fans were just as stoked as the the other Packer guy there. Like they <laughs> yeah. were, they were all everybody was all excited. Yeah. We we're all talking to each other. We we're like, that was so amazing. <laughs> I've never seen the Cowboys get their asses beat that soundly by anyone before. That was amazing. I love Jordan Love. Like the whole. Yeah, the vibes were high. Vibes were high in the gym. I assume the Giants fans, the vibes will probably still be high. Oh yeah, uh, tomorrow. But I, unfortunately, it seems like we we might lose out on a little bit of the vibes from the, uh, the, the Eagles. But maybe they'll support us going forward because this was this was the, this was the nut outcome uh, for Wild Card <laughs> Weekend for me. Nailed, nailed <laughs> all my bets. Just just destroyed. Uh, the balance is is way up. And both the Cowboys and Eagles lose oh in embarrassing fashion. That could lead to them firing everyone uh, and and resetting uh, <laughs> the whatever trajectory they had going for them. This is excellent. The, I yeah, can't what, I can't think of a better outcome than what happened. If I'm being honest, <laughs> what what's the over under on you know number of days before you know the old donut dynamo over there gets the boot? <laughs> I, the, I mean, the nicknames the, are elite. Lately. Yeah, Sultan's a, <laughs> Sultan of Snacks, Donut Dynamo. He's a, he gets alliteration uh, right. I mean, it does seem like the, the quote when Jerry said that he has to make it very clear on the authority structure. That made me feel like he was going to fire some motherfuckers. Yeah, that was the translation for me. So, I, I mean, look, I, I know on the broadcast they said that McCarthy would get another job. I don't know if he's going to get another job. I I have to. Jerry's almost dead. I mean, it's it's real talk for a second, but he's not gonna fuck about with this shit. He can't fuck about with Dak anymore. He can't fuck about with McCarthy anymore. He has to get someone who knows how to win a championship. Bill Belichick, enter the death. St- I can't. I I can't imagine Belichick would do it. But what what if Jerry's like that crazy and he just offers him a huge huge bag? Because who does he hire? Like, what's the genius hire? 
that wants no, to go nobody, coach for Jerry. The, the genius hires aren't going to want to work for Jerry. Like you're saying, like Belichick, there's no way yeah. he's going to want to work for, for Jerry. Jerry's going to screw up. He, he's like the antithesis of everything Belichick is. And then I've heard other people say Harbaugh. And like, that would be a nightmare for me. Like either him <laughs> going there or going to the Bears is oh, a nightmare yeah. for me. But like, I, it, Harbaugh is not going to want to work under him either. So I don't know who they're going to get. Like, I, no, I, mean, Jason I, I think if you're, I think I think the the most appealing job is either uh, Los Angeles with the Chargers oh. or DC. DC, you get that. And now I don't know if DC is appealing to Belichick because you got to draft that quarterback. But Harbaugh, you get to draft whoever you want. You get to mold them. You have a young owner who's probably not going to be up your ass that respects you. That's going to be paying you a shit ton of money. And then you know Chargers, hey, you're living all, and, and you're close to your brother there in Baltimore. Chargers, you're living on the West Coast. It's a you know West Coast lifestyle is nice. You're going to get paid a shit ton of money. You have Justin Herbert, so you already have like a pretty high level quarterback. Now, granted, you're kind of a second rate franchise in your own town. I don't know if he'd like that, but I mean those those two jobs to me are the most appealing. Oh, Herbert, it 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 yeah. I think it starts with the quarterback and maybe the owner. I guess that's the guy that that sticks around, but. I don't think Washington's as appealing as I think Washington's more appealing to Belichick because of the lo- location. Really? Because I I would think Harbaugh. There's clearly something more to that franchise that is causing the issues than just. But it's, it's an it's a new owner. You could you could sell yourself pretty easily I, on also, the idea that hey, I'm Bill Belichick. I can set the culture. I can draft my franchise quarterback. You know. Come on down, Josh McDaniels. It's, it's Come less, on down, it's, Joe Judge. It's less what I think, but more like Belichick talking himself but into it. He wouldn't go and poach all of his coaches from Mayo, his guy. He's not going to do that. So I, yeah, you know, well, Josh McDaniels is a free agent. <laughs> he's he's a fine offensive. Coach. Matt Patricia anyway. will be available. All right, Dick Punch, are you feeling good? What you got any uh, uh, got any action on divisional weekend yet? Uh no, I mean I'm going to be placing bets for sure on the Packers on the money line particularly, but uh, I would yeah, grab I mean, I'm it just, now. Time just okay. stoked, you know. Jordan Love more playoff road wins than Patrick Mahomes. Oh, yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow, God. that it feels like you're framing data uh, for your benefit. Great there, work. I like it. <laughs> you I have like what it. it takes to be into <laughs> the gambling tout industry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. All, all right. right, have a good one, guys. Sorry all again, right. Sean. That's all right. Well, let her ride. All right, one more caller. Sure. Wow, we got a SGPN football doc Sebastian's here. I'm sure he has nice things to say to you. Um, Are you going to talk about how shitty your Giants are, Sebastian? Oh wow, (coughs) coming at him. Well, let me just say this: Uh, I I can't say that I won twenty thousand dollars, but I think I kind of made off better with the fucking Cowboys and the Eagles getting absolutely (laughs) embarrassed. On national television, oh Love my it. God! Christmas came again. Yeah. Well, if you, if you guys dumb. get on, if you guys get on national television, oh, you'll geez. certainly have the chance to be embarrassed. I mean, what? Come on, you know. So, oh, on the last time we played, about? you lost. We'll be on. True. We'll be on national television together. We'll be coming first. We'll be drafting our pick. Don't worry. We're we're <laughs> four, on the same plane. Four picks now. in the top seventy. Let's go. <laughs> it's draft season. You want to talk right. shit? Draft, How many picks you got? In the draft top seventy. Smack motherfucker? Talk has already started. Oh, you don't think Howie's going to get himself some draft picks? Come on. What about Tyrod Taylor? First of all, I mean, I think I, like I really Tyrod. just honed in as a hater. As a Gators fan, FSU, Georgia, not being even loud in the Invitational. And then as a Giants fan, the Cowboys and the Eagles getting absolutely demolished in the first round. Like there's few things you wake up. You wake up, Feels you great. want your team to win a championship. But if you can't and your rivals get kicked out, oh man, that's that's this, the second best thing. This is actually a teaching like, moment for the children because they've o- like we we've always had these kind of scenarios like what's better, winning against this team or this team losing. And this this was finally the moment where I got to explain like see this is this is the joy you get to feel uh, when a the Cowboys lose to anybody in the playoffs, and then b uh, the other half of my household is a Bucks fan. Mm. So uh, the Bucks fan, come on, the Bucks uh, took down. <laughs> d- no, no, uh, I did, I did. Uh, I, I don't know if she uh, she sent a uh, congratulatory I text. I didn't get a text. I, Thank I, God. I, su- I suggested maybe, yeah, maybe hold off on that till tomorrow. Um, there, there- 
There's some real fans in Tampa Bay there. I grew up in Tampa. That's it's not a bad stadium out I, there. I actually think it's the reason she's actually a Bucks fan is because there are some randomly some real fans down there, and they like their Pirates. Uh, that being said, um, I'd say she wasn't glued to the, the TV. I, I, you know, wasn't sweating out those Mike she, Evans. I mean, good name five players on the team. Uh, she she's aware of Mike Evans. Okay, um, you know. Likes likes how dangerous Baker Mayfield is. That concerns me a little bit. Um, yeah, you got you got cannons, beads, and booze out there. Come on, Gasparilla is a good time. If you ever need a man on the street, just uh, oh. let me know down there. All right, Sebastian. So what? what you just gone into bust my chaps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, let's let's just quickly recap. I feel like you know we talked about it a little bit, but let's just look at a different aspect here. We've had New York Giants. When we say forever a giant. We fucking mean it. Last season, Kadarius Tony, amazing display of what it means oh, yeah. to be a New York Giant. This season, James motherfucking Bradbury allowing Trey Palmer to cash my anytime touchdown <laughs> plus 465, get nicely up Trey Palmer's ladder. That's just, that's beautiful. Wow. That is loyalty to the core. You just have to admire something like that. Sebastian's been well, on. I, I'm congrats price. you guys are are finding some ways to win. Oh, wow. When it comes I mean, come on. Are we going to celebrate players what? on other teams beating divisional player? Like, come on. Sure. Sure. <laughs> You're losing. I'm, That's that. You're scraping gonna, the you, bottom of the barrel. Celebrated division loss. Absolutely. You, scraping You're, the bottom well, of you, the barrel. You're an buddy. Eagles fan. That's where we find you. What? That was good. No, that was scraping good. the bottom of the barrel. Where nah, Eagles fans live. Come on. What do you hey, mean? The Giants could go on the road and get a playoff victory. Right. That that's enough. That's enough of this. <laughs> Show, that that's enough of this. We're not talking about the Giants anymore until draft. All right, you're yeah. right. You're right. Right. Next next week though, I do I do really like uh, Tampa Bay. First okay. of all, um, money line or points. Do, money line. I already I already bet the money line. Really? Okay. Um, well, so you look at it like this. Um, I think in a situation where when the Lions don't can't run the ball as well as they would like to, you know, Tampa Bay has shown that when they're healthy, which they are, they have a formidable run defense. It's Jared Goff that we're relying on. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's, it's good enough for Detroit. <laughs> it's brutal for me because I was so high on the bucks <laughs> preseason and kept be like, this team isn't that bad. Uh, finished the season kind of a dud and they put it on my Eagles. So I can't, I, I don't, I don't know where my handle is on them, but my instant reaction was that the spread should be four. That was my first thought when it opened. Yeah, six and a half when it opened was too much. Got on that automatically. But I think you look at it like the Rams. I mean, uh, we can talk about the. I think the Rams really should have won that game, especially with that Puka Nakua no call there. You have a situation where Baker is not Matt Stafford, but his wide receivers are oh. pretty damn good. With Godwin, Evans, Otten's coming on. You got Palmer and Moore in the slot, and that Lions cornerback, that secondary is awful. Yeah. Like those quarterbacks were getting dusted. Mike Evans can have three touchdowns on them. I mean, I think it's just a good situation where it's much more of a pick 'em 50, 50. I understand that the, you know, you could say the same thing about the bucks with the Monra, but who other than a Monra St. Brown, are you afraid of? I know La Laporte is well, yeah, good. And, and, and they had uh, some good stuff going with Reynolds. I, I have, mean, I have the only two Josh Reynolds lineups in the FFPC playoff challenge. So Josh motherfucking Reynolds, that's it. <laughs> He's he's your Julio Jones for this week. Uh, he might be. He might. Oh, be. and Julio was going to get those sixty yards if he didn't get knocked out of the game. I mean, just I, add that to yeah. the pile of bullshit outcomes. He got knocked right back into retirement. I did not like seeing that, but uh, yeah, that was that was tough. The other guys I like is uh, uh, the Chiefs. I really think that. I mean, I could it could be because I was watching the game with uh, a Steelers fan and my wife, but I don't think Buffalo looked that good, and I think the injuries are going to catch up to him. They're just getting decimated in the linebacker and yeah, the quarterback. I'll, I'll have to see what the whole injury report they, was. They, they seem like they randomly got pretty banged up against the Steelers. I mean, this they, it feels like they came out, shot their wide, and the Steelers slowly crawled back. But again, that Chiefs offense, it wasn't like it was firing on all cylinders at home. I mean, can, I, I think it's gonna come down to can the Bills figure out how to slow down Rashi Rice? I yeah, I mean, thank Travis Kelsey too. I mean, over the middle, right? So you have you have, yeah, Tyrell Dodson wasn't was inactive. You have Terrell Bernard, Brandon Spector already go out. That's three of their top three remaining linebackers. And you got two I, cornerbacks go out and they already are missing. Sebastian's on to something here, Sean. 
I, I think the Bills are very. No, yeah, we'll, we'll have to up. see who's who's playing, and then you know, as Dick Puncher pointed out, I, I you know, uh, Patrick Mahomes has never played a road. Well, he didn't point it out, but he did say Jordan Love has more road <laughs> playoff wins than Patrick Mahomes, yeah. which is a which is a dog stat for sure. <laughs> Getting a road playoff win. It's awesome. It is also awesome that the reason that Patrick Mahomes has less playoff road wins is because he's never played a road <laughs> yeah. win game. Well, he's he's won so many regular season <laughs> games. You don't need to bring that up on your framing data. Uh, is it confirmed that the game will be in Buffalo? Are we well, not we'll moving see. it because we'll see. of if the weather gets bad, they or? may move it. <laughs> then shout out to Governor. Uh, <sighs> The governor of uh, the great state of New York moving it over just to ruin Cousin Mush's under. Do you guys and, my, and my Steelers nine and a half? Tell me if that game was played on Sunday, they wouldn't cover. Nine you nine. civilians don't even know what a lake effect is. Look what it does. All right, Sebastian, good shit, right, gentlemen. Let it ride. Let it ride. Uh, just last, uh, put a bow on the old uh, spreads from next week. It does. Circa has moved the Ravens down to nine hmm. uh, for what it's worth. And there are now a couple places that are serving up chiefs plus three. So early, okay. early bills money coming in, which is interesting based on the injury uh, news that Sebastian was just talking about makes me think maybe I have to run and grab a little three uh, if I'm able to. All right. Uh, Just get that Ryan. So you have it in your portfolio. <laughs> you know, th- it's a number. Sometimes you got to grab the the numbers. Um, sharps play numbers, Sean. All right. Do you want to hop in a little gauntlet draft here? Sure. Of course. Underdog fantasy promo code SGPN. Get the hundred percent deposit match up to $100. The gauntlet returns, right? Is that what we're doing? The uh, divisional playoff round the gauntlet. Yeah. So right now I see they're serving up two different drafts, the mitten returns and the gauntlet returns. So a $5 and a $35. I'm seeing it as 25. Am Sorry, I on $25. The okay. Um, let me just throw this up here. Josh, you want to throw the screen up on the wait, well, wait, am I not sharing? Hold on. That's why let me share screen. All right. So similar to last, uh, similar to the, the, the playoff stuff that we started with the different, the main difference here with the gauntlet is instead of two of four or two of six, it's one of six in the first round. And so, you know, obviously you got to do a little bit uh, better to get guys who don't have buys. Oh, good news. There's no buys. So that's kind of the difference. So it goes advancement is one out of six, then one out of 10, Sean. And if you advance to the finals, 347. So we're building for the Super Bowl again. Same roster construction. Five, but you don't have to worry about the bye week. No bye week. Yeah. Uh, same same roster construction. So you have a quarterback, a running back, two pass catchers, and a flex, five bench. And again, you're most likely looking to build for a Super Bowl. So you probably want to have a minimum of a double stack mm. with uh with a bunch of two uh, team stacks, so you can build still a five team or five person roster in the Super Bowl. Got it. No! <sighs> Let's go. All right, poking my head in. Looks like oh no, oh, oh couldn't no. detect my location. Oh no. Uh, well, I'm I'm gonna have to play. I'm gonna draft two. Hold on. Let's Do you want me? Should I hit enter again or no? No, no. Let, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's enter. Let's enter. Two more. Fucking A. It's not detecting. What do I do? Refresh? Hold on. Did I get out for a second? Yeah. All right. I'm going to get out until you figure this out. In the right, mean- Now I'm in. Oh, Jesus. Four, five. Get in. All right. Are main- you in? Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. All right. We're in. Christian McCaffrey still number one. I'm drafting one, one. Do I draft Christian McCaffrey? This guy's kind of a dweeb. Or do I go Lamar? Brock Purdy's up there, Debo, Patty Mahomes, Josh Allen. Josh Allen rushing uh, over 39 and a half was easy money. Oh, I was pissed. I did the attempts and it, it really stupid. I like the attempts too. I mean, but it was wrong. What did he get to? Eight. Oh my God. So I know. Nine. And it's like it, they count the kneel downs too. I mean, I feel like he, I don't know. I think that was with the kneel downs. Yeah. All right. So am I drafting Christian McCaffrey? I guess you got to. I guess so. But then you're stuck with rooting for the 49ers. It's kind of an annoying, uh, annoying outcome. 
I got I got too many fucking tabs now because I'm doing two drafts at the same time. Joe's asking about what do we know about the Beckham love vote? That was fake news. It was great fake news, but apparently it was fake news. Unfortunately, it would have loved if it was real news. I'm on the clock. I guess I'll take Christian McCaffrey. Sure. So I have the six pick. I had the two pick in the other draft where I. Well, this is interesting because you can. Yeah, maybe I should have gone quarterback because now I'm going to get a shitty quarterback because <laughs> I drafted at one one and you got to wait a while till you get a quarterback. And there's only eight divisional teams. Uh, but maybe I, I go with the AFC dog I, for my quarterback. I don't think you're taken to. Uh, I guess it'll be interesting to see how many. No, people. you just take one quarterback in this format, right? I, I think. So I, I, I take Christian McCaffrey, then Lamar, Patrick Mahomes, and Purdy go. I mean, I guess there's a chance you were drafting before. Debo goes. Kramer, you're on the clock. I I'm assuming you're going to build a Josh Allen sack. You have to. Yeah. Kramer goes. Josh Allen. Now what am I going to do with quarterback? And Steph Diggs. I thought about Cook, but. Uh, Hertz is listed as questionable here. Do I take Hertz anyway? <laughs> Why don't they take guys out? I mean, it's good for people who are actually paying attention. So. I guess. Were, was this open before the? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. So that's why these ADPs are all over the place. Yeah. All right. Um, I think I might have to take CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud, Nico Collins. Uh, yeah. Why or not? Or I go? Or I could go. I could go. Jared Goff. I'm on Ra. That that would be more appealing to me. They're playing a home game. Then I got Christian McCaffrey though on the other side. I guess is the concern. That's, that's fine. Again, get a double stack with your quarterback, and then build stacks of two with uh, with your teams. All right, I'm taking Jared Goff. Uh, let's see, Brown. Oh no, I'm on Ross St. Brown's already drafted. Right. Okay. You you brought it up. All right. What am I doing here? All right. Let go, David Montgomery. This is a horrible team. Oh no. Sean hates his team already. I got Christian McCaffrey, Jared Goff, David Montgomery. Shoot this team to the moon. All right, so what do I do next? I got I got uh I obviously have a Josh Allen team. Yeah. I think you bring some you draft some NFC players and hope they meet in the Super Bowl, right? Is it just that simple? I probably it's probably the right move. Pacheco goes. I mean, how would you not take Rashi Rice? He seems to be less interesting to people. Uh, and honestly, like, yeah, why am I? I feel like I'm I'm in the minority of loving Rashi Rice. He had a great game in a bad condition. He's clearly one of the guys that's trusted. I um, mean, there's no question. Th- there's no doubt that's the case. I wonder, uh, like, if I was that Mahomes team, um, I don't know what. I, what like, why are you doing that? Uh, Jared Cook gets sniped. Like, why would Jaco Kittle, James Cook, Rashi Rice goes? Kramer, you're on the clock. All right, so let's see. Boy, I I don't mind, even though it's on the same side. Why is this? Oh, Gus Edwards. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna yeah. You, you know I'm 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 high. Get on, on the, the Gus on bus, the Gus Ryan. Bus. And then yeah, I think I think I'll just go back to back. This time I'll snag a guy from the other side, Jameer Gibbs. And we'll see if I'll regret that with the pass catchers. But now I can be done. I can potentially be done with running back. Maybe I take one more. Although Sean, I got to be honest. I'm, I was looking at my my scoring for some teams that were advanced. A lot of teams that scored two running backs are the teams that are advanced. Like not the teams that are advancing with dead players because that that had good weeks. 
with the teams that are still alive, a lot of them are are alive with running backs. Likely off the board. Always like Isaiah Likely, although Mark Andrews sounds like he might play. I mean, uh, uh, he hasn't been activated, but Nico Collins He's off practicing. the board. Practicing, I know. That's why it's scary to draft Likely, who I like, but I don't think it's that scary to take Likely. I think I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit of a charade, mm. and it, even if Andrews is back, it's it's not doing the explosive stuff anyway. All right. Let's see here. Just starring some guys right now, trying to find some. CJ ed- Stroud goes Ryan. So who's your quarterback? You got Josh Allen. Josh Allen and Steph Diggs was the my pick one two. I wonder which. I mean, it, it is. What's going on? My other team. I'm drafting. I'm double drafting right now, Sean. Yeah. Okay. Ask me how I'm doing. How are you doing? I'm about to complete a quad stack with Beckham. Beckham likely Edwards and Lamar with All a, right. with Rashi. Right? I just took Mike Evans and Sam Laporta. Oh, you son of a bitch. What do you mean? I was I was totally eyeing up Mike Evans. Maybe I was foolish for thinking he could come back to me. I mean, Mike Evans could have had like even a crazier game. Oh my twice I I said out loud in front of like the kids was like, oh Mike Evans, what are you doing? You're just uh, Jaden Reed's interesting because he like had a no show in that Packers game. Everyone was getting catches, points, touchdowns, except Jaden Reed. Uh, is it was that just an anomaly? Uh it it did seem. I mean, he was out there though. It, yeah. Uh, so I I don't know. I mean, you know, one of those things. Team effort. He was certainly drawing attention, so he was doing his job. I I don't know. How do you how he I, how he had a complete goose egg? I have no idea. Yeah, that's what gets weird. It just blew my mind. All right, so coming back around to me, I kind of was. Uh, I'm looking at like how bad do I want to make sure I have multiple? Oh, and Dalton Kincaid. This Zach, the Zach, the Zach guy is is he takes Cook and then he takes Kincaid. That's a real piece of work. Um. Oh man, I'm flustered. I'm gonna make a bad pick here. Jordan Love just goes now in round five. End of round five. Kincaid right. goes. You know what? I was, Aaron Jones. Yeah, we're took gonna him right out of my queue. Well, no, we're you you you're right. I'm I'm just gonna give a quick quick double tap on the Packers. So there's a double tap on an NFC team. The question is, who do I I want to get to a double stack with Josh Allen? I'm gonna queue up some guys. We'll see what happens. What do you make of the Ty Johnson carries at the end of the game for Buffalo? Nothing. Nothing. It's garbage time. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Josh Reynolds still available, Ryan. Why are you saying that out loud? You know I already have a lion in Gibbs. You know I just said you want to stack with two people from a team. Jameson Williams is also available. While you're saying shit out loud. Yeah, do I go Jameson Williams or uh, or Josh Reynolds? Now, I mean, it would be a real dickhead move if you took Josh Reynolds. All Put right. it that way. So I'll go Josh Reynolds, Khalil Shakir. I mean, I would. Take- I have no, I I have no AFC guys right now. Oh, then you sh- you sh- uh, well, I mean, who's your? You got to be able to stack that AFC team. This this team is reliant on the Lions getting the Super Bowl. Khalil Shakir off the board. Dawson Knox. No, he got banged up. Leonard Fournette. Can't take him. Dalton Schultz. Oh, go Josh Reynolds. You still draft 10 guys? How many guys we drafted around? Yep. Everything's the same. So yeah, the player pool thins out a little bit more. Probably helpful if you know this is where, you know, if you know ball, you're probably in a better spot. Nelson Aguilar. But Nelson Aguilar no knows ball. Is that what you're saying? They should have an AFC or NFC switch here. Yeah. I agree. That would be a nice uh nice feature. All right, I you know what? I I don't mind 
the bookend drafting in this format. So my team is Jared Goff, Christian McCaffrey, David Montgomery, Mike Evans, Sam Laporta, Khalil Shakir, Josh Reynolds. So I'm very thin on the AFC side. Do I just try and grab some Buffalo guys and hope it's a Lions Bills Super Bowl? Yeah, I guess. I mean, but you actually did take Josh Reynolds. You saw. Just hear Ryan's uh, notifications of his other draft vibrating. I know it's like, and then I got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, re- <laughs> I'm gonna reach on Dawson Knox because he's a touchdown scorer, and he's a stack. And I'm gonna go over him. Isn't Dawson Knox hurt? He got hurt in that game. Yeah. Didn't he? I yeah. I mean, if he did, I completely missed it. Looking it up now, but I swore. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of white tight ends that went down in game today, this weekend. Higby done. Almost like there's a war on the white tight end. Wait, oh, Dallas Goddard. Oh, who cares? Oh, you don't care about him? Not right now. I mean, the season's over. I hope he's all right. But all right, Robert Woods goes. Oh man, what do I do here? I'll take Dalton Schultz. Give me, uh, give me. Uh, did Leonard Fournette get involved in that game at all? Would he have a carry? The running backs get pretty thin. I'll be honest. Jared that, McKinnon. That's the. I mean, I need someone that's on the AFC. I mean, what am I taking? John Mechie, Richie James, Kadarius Tony. Oh, Justin Watson was available. Should I should have taken him? Let's see. Do I go a third Packer and just go Yolo, or do I? I need a Nelson Aguilar is available. So so is Devin Duvernay. Devin Duvernay. He is. He has been activated. Ryan, reminder: hofbets.com or download the Hall of Fame Bets app. Optimize those parlays. Get in. Over on Hall of Fame bets. That was you were doing a little like uh, jazz uh, DJ there. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, I mean, I, I you find yourself scrolling around and like, wh- like, what am I supposed to do here? I got, <laughs> I got two picks. Um, I have, I'm stacked in every position, but for Baltimore. Uh, do I, do I just add a random? You know, if Buffalo gets there, am I gonna want to have Trent Sherfield when he gets that random Super Bowl <laughs> touchdown? Yeah, I probably do. And then for my tenth, my tenth round pick, I guess I could just lean into this Packers angle with Christian Watts and hope. You know what? I'll I'll take another standalone guy because I, I I wouldn't mind plucking some. Uh, oh, Justin Watson. Some, he was the one good guy left. Well, I mean, I'm a sharp. I'm not gonna let you have all the meat. You, you already took Josh Reynolds. Oh no. I still like uh, Najee Harris here. <clears throat> they do they do have a red uh O box against guys who've been eliminated. Yeah, that's nice enough. Kadarius Tony, does he does he see the field? There's been no announcement on Kadarius Tony. Cause he's stupid. He can't learn the plays and they're just like, he's going to, they're going out with dumb out. Yeah. Out with coach's decision. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Ooh, Khalif Raymond I may as well t- throw him in here. Yeah. Or DPJ he's, he's floating around. So well, I, I don't know how serious that Khalif Raymond injury is. I think he'll be back. <sighs> it's been real. Are we doing a second draft or are we? No, I'm good. It? Yeah, I'm good. I want to go home. Go yeah, to it's bed. Been a rough day, huh? Great weekend. All right. Hit my I- locks, my dog, my tees. Hit a first oh. touchdown. Bada bing, bada boom. And pretty much everything had everything good. The games I didn't bet on were the ones I got wrong. Oh wow. The You're turn, one of those guys. Turns out the the 
Well, I mean, it turns out the moon had nothing to do with the waxing the lions. Penis. Well, no, it was a waxing crescent, and it and it didn't help them cover, but they did win. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, your uh, turns out the the Eagles are just hot trash, and who could have seen this coming? You're happy the Eagles lost, right? I'm I I am yes yes I am happy. I I'm happy the Cowboys lost. I'm happy the Eagles lost. I'm happy so the way the season ended. To start out the way you started out, and I even pointed out a couple times that you were getting pretty bold and building up all this this horrible karma and something bad was going to happen. Mm. How and so? Then, and I was celebrating the team's victory. Then, Why would I not be excited? And then the banana peel started uh, this avalanche that resulted in losing every game that didn't involve a third string quarterback. <laughs> you mean the Giants? Ironically, yeah, one of the Giants games. You you <laughs> lost the backup quarterback. Couldn't be. Uh, beat beat the third string. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what could have. And and, I, and frankly, as much as I, uh, as much as the Rams going on a run would have been fun, I love the shit out of Dan Campbell beating that little butt munch. So I mean, yeah, yeah I so mean, it's like the good things happen this weekend for. I, I was I, I, I was in that game. I was rooting for the Lions to win and not cover. I really was. That's why I didn't make it my uh, Rams didn't make it my dog. I mean, I thought they if they did win, they they were frisky. But yeah, I I, I, shout out to Detroit. I'm I'm how how can you not oh, root yeah. for Detroit? So what team that that the closing? What what team? Any Brian, early leans on what team you're gonna Friday be on Beeson? I'm playing as the Lions. Gonna oh. go on a fucking run. Let's go. So yeah, just uh, just to recap, my, the slot I played as both the Chiefs. The slot. How's the slot? So funny enough, Sean, I played as three teams this weekend. Did not go well as the Lions. They didn't cover. Went well with the Texans. They not only cover, but one on the money line. And went well as the Chiefs. Easy cover against two on the Dolphins. I do think this thing might be plugged into the future. <laughs> How is it not? It How might is it, not? it might be plugged into the future. All right. Hey, our future is bright. We got a whole week, a divisional round of playoff picks, more college basketball. What more could you want people? The national football league, uh, 15% off everything this month, all the merch store, just use the promo code playoffs. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, Even the people that told me to fuck myself and my team sucked. Love you guys the most. Have the bills fans reached out to you yet? No condolences. No, Uh, I mean, come on. They're winning the super bowl shots of bills. Congrats. Well, we're already planning the parade route. Uh, nor- Normally you'd be re- stoked for the bills. I do like the bills. I don't know. I don't know who I'm rooting for in that matchup yet. We'll see. Yeah. Stay tuned. Your money. That's who exactly. Thank you for participating in the sports gambling <laughs> podcast for the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean second, the money green. He's Ryan. Uh, happy wild card weekend, Sean Kramer. Let it ride.